I am back today with a dream shotgun. I finally grabbed the Benelli M4 H2O and I've got it out to the channel. I found this one used with a few updates and I was really impressed at the price for what I got. So I finally pulled the trigger and grabbed the ultimate combat shotgun. To my amazement, it lived up to everything I thought it was going to be. Here lately, I've been reviewing a ton of semi-auto and pump shotguns, everything from the budget range all the way up to the more premium range like the Benelli M2 and Beretta 1301. The Beretta 1301 has been my favorite combat shotgun up until this point, and the Benelli M4 gives it a run for its money, and I'll probably be doing a versus video. Now, the Benelli M2 I reviewed, I was incredibly disappointed in because I could outrun the shotgun, meaning I could pull the trigger faster than the action could cycle, leaving me with a dead trigger. The M4 utilizes a different gas system that resolves that issue, and it's a very robust and reliable gas system. They actually call that the ARGO system or ARGO system, which is a self-regulating gas system that allows it to run low brass and high brass buckshot and slugs, no problem, and that's what this one did. We'll talk about the reliability in more detail at a later part of this review, but I want to talk about the Benelli M4 and in this case the H2O to see if it's actually worth the money. Spoiler alert, it is in my opinion, but let's start from the front and work our way to the back. What I want to discuss is the sights that come on the Benelli M4. Um, they're very basic, but they're a ghost ring sighting system, and they work out incredibly well. I love the ghost ring sighting system for slugs and buckshot for a combat-style shotgun because you may be taking shots at a distance. Now, because the Benelli is an imported shotgun, it does have a tube regulated and stopped at 5 plus 1 rounds from the box, but a lot of people purchase tube extensions. Somebody installed this one prior to me. The sling attachment works out solid, and this one actually has an updated handguard with the Surefire Pick Rail handguard, and the one that comes on it is fairly nice as is, but this is a nice touch as well, allowing you to add lights and lasers. Now, the barrel length on this combined with a tube extension really makes for that perfect style of a barrel length. Allows it to have interchangeable chokes so you can kind of set it up for your specific needs, whether you want to go hunting, personal defense situations, or just have an open choke and just really blast things with a wider spread. So the versatility of that barrel length can buy when the tube length allows you to get the most bang for your buck and still be kind of a CQB style, but potentially a longer range style shotgun with the availability of different chokes. The Cerakote finish that the M4 H2O has really protects it from corrosion resistance. So if you were going to be using this as a waterfowl shotgun or a combat style shotgun close to the coast, something like that enhanced corrosion resistance may be key depending on where you're using this. For me, it was just the gun of opportunity at the time. I wasn't partial to the H2O version or the standard version. This is the one I grabbed. Right off the bat, when you're looking at that receiver, you can see the pick rail at the top. It's easy to add optics at the top, like this Aimpoint Micro H2. The charging handle on here is very nice. It's not overly large, but it does come out far enough to grab and chamber around. And everything about the action is incredibly smooth, 
robust, and just a quality build. When you pick up a Benelli M4, you can feel the difference in the fit and finish and build quality in something like this over some of the budget competitors out there on the market, even some of the Benelli M4, I wouldn't even call them clones, but similar pattern shotguns. The bolt release could be larger. That's one complaint I had about the M2 and I have about the M4 and the Beretta 1301 and some of the other uh, combat shotguns I reviewed have a larger bolt release, but it works. It's fine. It does the job. I just wish it was bigger and I'm sure there's aftermarket options. To load the next round in the chamber, this one works really good. Now this one has a high vis bumper in it because I believe the spring was replaced in this one, but the mouth to load those shells is good. Everything's coated. Everything's smooth. There's no rough or sharp edges to get your finger caught on. In fact, this one is a lot smoother than some of those other budget shotguns I've reviewed in the past, and that's just par for the course with Benelli. If there's room for improvement, a lot of times Benelli is going to uh, take that and utilize that. The cross trigger safety works out really well. It's oversized, no issues there. And the stock system itself is very nice. It's the pistol grip stock combo with the sling loop and it works out great. It's got sort of a rubberized butt pad, doesn't absorb too much of the recoil, but the recoil on the impulse on this guy is not that bad at all. Now I wanna talk about the reliability of this shotgun. And the first thing I wanna mention is I can't outrun this shotgun. And that is key because the Benelli M2 left me incredibly disappointed. The M4 on the other hand cycles very quickly and reliably with all types of shells I put through it. I tried about three or four different low brass shells from Winchester, Estate, and Federal with no issues whatsoever. It ran all the low brass just fine. Switching to higher brass birdshot, like number four birdshot, it cycled and functioned great. I ran some buckshot and some slugs with no issues whatsoever. So it ran the gamut of ammunition without any problems, and this thing was a tack driver with slugs at reasonable distances, so no issues there. In summary, if you're looking for a well-built quality shotgun that's going to run whatever you put through it with the potential the potential to kind of outfit it the way you see fit there's a ton of aftermarket components that you can grab for the Benelli M4 I'm really glad I got to grab this one I can definitely recommend it if you want more information about anything I review on the channel more information about where to find things definitely check out my campsite page all of that information is in the description below as well as my patreon page a lot of daily deals are over on my page Patreon page, as well as daily deals on my Instagram stories. So follow me on both of those platforms. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.